Moving down to the next section of tools in here, let's look at our paintbrush tools. Now there are a few as you can see here and a couple of variations. We have the brush mode and the airbrush mode. Little softer edges on that one. If you're working with a tablet you can have a little more control on that one. We have the brush, the here we go, impressionist brush, and the color replacement tool. Starting off with our brush, you can choose your brush size in here. There's the size and the opacity. So you can actually see that. There we go. It's real huge. You can adjust your brush type in here. Lots and lots of brushes to choose from. This we have soft brushes, soft edge, and hard edge and then some pattern brush. You can see the pattern over here left-hand side and that's the stroke effect that you get from that pattern. And we can choose blending modes in here. This controls how the brush stroke blends with the layers underneath of it. There are brush settings so you can get real specific in here. You can control a fade or a hue jitter which adjusts the color, scattering amount, spacing on that scatter, the hardness and the roundness. And if you're not doing round, as you can see right down here, you even can control the angle on that. And notice how the brush effect changes down here if I control that angle and the roundness of that brush. Go real hard edge, there's a real hard edge brush. There's a real soft edge brush. And I'll put that back up to 100. And you also can come in here and type in the value if you want to. Let's put this back to 90 degrees. And then you just brush onto the page. Now the last color I had selected was a red. Like you can change your colors. Just bring up here your color swatches. There you go. Let's just do this. I got a medium blue here, a you know, cyan. Let's show that off to the side. There's a cyan. Notice how there is a bit of a blending in here on the soft edge brushes as they go over each other because there, you know, there's a softness on that. So the soft is a little bit of a transparency effect. If I change the blending mode here to darken, see how it darkens it as it goes over the top. So it's actually blending that stroke with what's underneath. This is just painting it right on top. But this one is actually blending it and in this case darkening it as it goes over. So you can use these to control the effects on that. So we have our size opacity and the brushes just come down here to a 50 or 36 percent little larger brush. I'll scrub this light green. You can see there I brought the opacity down so it gives me a transparency on that brush. Other brushes here, the impressionist brush, this is just kind of strange. You can kind of see what it's doing in there. It's coming in and giving an impressionist effect to what I'm painting over. A little hard to see here. We can adjust the size and we have you know, our brushes again and so forth. You can bring up one of our pictures. It's just open recently edited. I'll bring up that calico shot. There we go. Let's just zoom in on this one a bit. You should be able to really see this impressionist brush here. There we go. Real easy to see there. It's coming in just really kind of spreading things around and making almost like an impressionistic painting. If I was holding, you can kind of see the effect in there that it's doing, just coming in and just spinning that around. Now the the smaller the brush size, the more subtle the impressionistic effect is. I can just do little taps in here and make it look more like an impressionistic painting. And is real careful with it. There we go. Oh, interesting tool. The impressionist brush. Let's just revert that back to its original. There we are. And finally the color replacement brush. We can choose color, hue, saturation, color, or luminosity and actually replace a color with the color that we have selected. Notice how it tries to limit as well. Discontiguous is going to look all over your whole picture. 
contiguous is going to be just what's touching that. Let's go up here and let's do something just weird. Cyan. And I'll just paint in here with this brush and you see how it's just replacing just the color and it's seeing that edge as I'm coming down there so it's staying within that edge as long as I keep the center point of that target inside the sign then the color stays inside that sign. So I've changed the color nothing else I've just changed just the color itself over to this this blue color. You can adjust the tolerance in here let's just revert that there we go. I could change the hue if I wanted to. You can see there it is. So the, the hue is changing. It's not really going to a real solid bright color. A little more naturalistic look on it this time. It's, it's using this same color as the base color, but it's a more subtle shift. Let's revert on that. And we have saturation. That's going to increase the saturation. There it is. Just real strong saturation increase. And let's revert. And then finally the luminosity. I'm just pulling the luminosity way down here. Now on the, on the right hand side we have some options in here. We can sample contiguous or sampling once or background swatch. And the anti-aliasing is going to be coming in and smoothing out the edges on that. Let's just revert that. That one is not working out too well. There we go. And of course we still have our brush settings in here as well. Notice we have pen pressure in here. You can use the stylus wheel to control pen pressure if you want to. Or if you have a tablet and stylus you can use the actual pressure from the tablet and stylus and come in and you know, the more you press, the more effect you'll get, and the less you press, the less effect you get. This works out very, very well, by the way, if you're using the airbrush tool to have those tablet settings in here, and you can control what's happening with that pen. So you can control your tablet as well. So there we go. That's a look at those different painting tools, different brush tools. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.